It was a warm summer evening in August 2018, and I was driving home from a solo camping trip in the Superstition Mountains of Arizona. The desert landscape had a way of clearing my mind and rejuvenating my spirit. As I drove down Highway 60, the desert stretched out before me like an endless sea of sand and rock. The sun had just set, casting a golden glow over the terrain, and the stars were beginning to twinkle in the night sky. After passing through the small town of Globe, I approached the even smaller town of Superior when I saw it. At first, I thought it was a plane or a helicopter, but as I got closer, I realized it was something entirely different. The object was hovering in the air, motionless, and emitting a bright, pulsing light. I pulled over to the side of the road, my heart racing with excitement and a touch of fear. Grabbing my binoculars, I took a closer look. The object was disc-shaped, with a metallic sheen and strange markings etched into its surface. It was unlike anything I had ever seen before. I felt a shiver run down my spine as I realized that I was witnessing something truly extraordinary. As I watched, the object began to move, hovering above the desert floor with an eerie silence. I followed it with my binoculars, mesmerized by its strange behavior. It seemed to be scanning the ground, moving slowly and deliberately. I wondered what it was looking for. Was it searching for something specific, or was it simply exploring its surroundings? I was so captivated by the object's movements that I forgot to take notes or record a video. All I could do was watch in awe. Suddenly, the object shot off into the sky, disappearing into the distance in a matter of seconds. I was left standing there, feeling stunned and bewildered. But the encounter wasn't over yet. As I drove away, I noticed a strange, glowing light following me. It was hovering above my car, casting an eerie glow over the interior. I sped up, trying to lose the light, but it kept pace with me, always hovering just above my car. I felt a sense of panic, unsure of what was happening or what this thing wanted. I tried to call my friends and family, but my phone had no signal. I was completely alone, with no way to communicate with the outside world. I felt a sense of isolation as if I was being deliberately cut off from the rest of humanity. I began to wonder if I was in danger if this thing was somehow threatening me. But as I looked up at the light, I felt a strange sense of calm wash over me. It was as if the light was trying to communicate with me, to tell me something. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the light vanished, leaving me shaken and confused. I pulled over to the side of the road, trying to process what had just happened. As I sat there, trying to catch my breath, I noticed something strange. The GPS on my phone was malfunctioning, showing me in a location miles away from where I actually was. And the time, it was hours off. I knew I had experienced something truly inexplicable, something that challenged my understanding of the world and our place in it. I drove the rest of the way home in a daze, my mind reeling with questions and doubts. What had I just seen? What was that thing? And what did it want with me? When I finally arrived home, I felt like I had been changed by the encounter, like I had been given a glimpse of a world beyond our own. I spent the next few days researching UFO sightings in the area, trying to find some explanation for what I had seen. But the more I learned, the more questions I had. It was as if I had stumbled into a mystery that was much bigger than I could ever have imagined. I began to wonder if I had been chosen for some reason, if I had been selected to witness something that few others had seen. As I delved deeper into my research, I began to experience strange occurrences. I would find strange marks on my car, and strange noises would echo through my home. I began to feel like something was watching me from the sky, like something was following me. My encounter with the UFO had only scratched the surface of something much larger. To this day, I still don't have the answers. But I do know one thing, I'll never forget that UFO encounter in the Arizona desert. It was an experience that changed me forever, an experience that left me with more questions than answers.